What is an extreme sport? An extreme sport is being black. Being black is an extreme sport. Do you want to know what sport is even more extreme than that? It is being a black woman. So while you are fighting for your life because you are black and fighting for the lives of your sisters, your brothers, and your husbands and your children, you are also fighting for your life because you are a woman. You're fighting racism and sexism. The very men that you are fighting for, that you are protesting for, whose deaths you are contesting, are the very ones who are gonna be your death. You fight to prevent their murder so that they can murder you. And I don't just mean physical death, because there's spiritual and emotional death too at the hands of men, through rape and abuse and many other things. Black men, Enough is enough. South African men, enough is enough. I'm on Twitter and I'm seeing men go, oh my gosh, I wish I could protect women. I wish I could put them in my pocket and keep them safe. All these men are on Twitter saying, oh my gosh, like this needs to stop guys. What's wrong with you guys? So if all of you guys are saying, I wish I could protect women and all of you guys are condemning those who are doing it, who's doing it? Who's doing it then? If everyone is saying, oh my gosh, like look what men are doing. Who is doing it if not you? First of all, there aren't even many of you talking about it because most of you would rather talk about a PS5 and go twerk for a PS5 than talk about the death and rape of women in your homes, in your country, in your spaces. When will you take accountability? When will you take responsibility? I have a question. How many men watching me right now, watching this video right now, can say that they have never invited themselves to a woman's body without permission? And right now, I'm talking about outside of rape. How many of you can say that you have never tapped, smacked, grabbed a woman's bum without permission? How many of you can say that you have never manipulated a situation trying to make sure that you get a woman alone or get her drunk so that she's more susceptible to your advances? How many of you can say you've never done that? How many of you guys can say that you've never invited yourself to a woman's body on the dance floor? How many of you can say that I have never turned a blind eye to my friend's rapey behavior? How many of you can say that I've never defended a rapist? How many of you can say that I have never silenced a victim or chosen to believe my friend over a woman how many of you can say that how many of you can say that you have never cussed a woman out sworn at her called her out her name because she rejected your advances how many of you can say that these are just a few things that you have normalized your friends have normalized your family society has normalized that are not normal you think it's nothing but you don't understand what we have been through you see, you may think that tapping my butt is funny, but you don't know how many other men have touched me without permission. You don't know what your hands on my body without permission reminds me of. You don't know where it takes me to. But beyond where it takes me to, that in itself is a problem. 
how many of you can go through that checklist and say I've never done any of that the same way that we are telling white people that they need to get mad and they need to fight for black lives matter men you need to get mad you need to be mad at gender-based violence you need to be mad at rapists you need to be mad at women abusers stop clapping for them stop covering for them because when you keep quiet and he keeps quiet and they keep quiet everyone is quiet and this person continues doing the damage they are doing you are enabling them to be who they are you see how in murder there's the one who commits the murder and then there's the one who helps him cover it up or whatever but you see when it's time to be charged you are charged as an accomplice to the fact or to the crime meaning you are a part of the crime you are a part of the problem men you need to be mad you need to be angry and you need to do something how come in 2020 we still have to put a woman's life in relation to you for you to understand that women's lives matter why do i still need to tell you imagine if it was your mom your sister or your daughter for you to understand and you know what's the messed up part most of you don't even have to imagine you just have to ask you'll be surprised at how many women in your life have been through something have been touched by men have been hurt and abused by men but they never even told you <laughs> you think you have the privilege of imagining you just have to ask and you'll be disgusted by what men have done and continue to do one in every five women is a victim of rape how long will we continue to tell women don't wear a short skirt because if you wear a short skirt men are gonna harass you when will we stop teaching women what to wear and start teaching men not to rape you don't rape because she's wearing a short skirt because girls are being raped in the mosque they're being raped in their hijabs and their niqabs they're being raped in long skirts and in pants the reason for rape is not outfits it's rapists rapists are the reason for rape when will we stop putting blame on women and start teaching men and start holding men responsible men when will you start holding yourself responsible when will you start holding your friends responsible it's 2020 and i still can't go outside not because of corona but because I'm scared of men. I can't go out by myself. I can't even stay home by myself. Because if it's not strangers outside, it's uncles and brothers and neighbors inside. It's everywhere. Stop telling us not to go places. Stop telling us not to wear things. Get angry and do something. Because we are not the reason for gender-based violence. You are. Stop saying not all men are rapists, not all men are trash, blah, 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 blah and do something we need you men we need you black men we need you all men we need you you need to do something and you need to do it now so what can you do to help first of all check yourself look at yourself look at what you have normalized look at what you are doing and fix it check yourself second of all check your friends tell on your friends if you see your friend doing something check it stop it and if your friends have done something tell on your friends tell on your friends stop enabling them another thing is raise awareness talk about it host seminars make videos whatever you can do in your power in your community in your circle talk about it say something stop keeping quiet say something do something community leaders people who like to make events and stuff do something you people who make videos do something you guys who are very good at speaking and social media say something you guys who don't know what to say repost it i've also included some petitions in the description so look down in my descriptions and you'll find petitions to sign that are aimed towards prioritizing gender-based violence to the police sign it share it do something don't be a part of the problem don't be mad at the commotion. Stop feeling attacked. Stop being led by your ego that when this stuff is spoken about, all you can say is it's not me, it's not me. Be a part of the solution. Be the solution. It is in your hands and you do have the power and it starts today. Get informed, get outraged and get active. <laughs>